Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The custom rates section in the sales tax settings page lets you create, edit, and inactivate custom sales tax rates you can collect on behalf of your sales tax agencies in your sales forms if you don't use location-based customer sales tax calculations and want to manually track sales tax. To add, edit, or inactivate custom sales tax rates in QuickBooks Online, open the Sales Tax Center page by clicking the Taxes link in the navigation bar and then clicking the Sales Tax tab in the page that opens to the right. Alternatively, hover over the Taxes link in the navigation bar and then roll over and click the Sales Tax link in the side menu that appears to also open the same page. To add, edit, or inactivate custom sales tax rates, Click the Sales Tax Settings button in the upper right corner of the page to open the Sales Tax Settings page. To add a new custom sales tax rate, click the Add Rate button in the Custom Rates section to open an Add a Custom Sales Tax Rate window. Then select the Option button for the type of sales tax rate to create. The first option is to create a single sales tax rate and the second is to create a combined sales tax rate. A single sales tax rate is a single tax rate collected for a single tax agency. A combined sales tax rate lets you create a single sales tax rate that collects multiple other sales tax rates for multiple sales tax agencies. If you select the combined option, then you can click the Show Example link to see an example of it. Combined rates are used when you want to show a single sales tax rate in a sales form for the customer, but you must collect and or report on each sales tax within that sales tax rate separately for the sales tax agencies. Next, for either selection, enter the name of the sales tax rate to show in sales forms into the name field. You then enter either a single rate or multiple rates based on whether you are creating a single or combined tax rate. For each rate, select the name of the tax agency for whom you collect the sales tax from the agency dropdown. Then enter the rate you collect on behalf of that selected agency into the rate field. For a combined sales tax rate, also enter a nickname for the individual rate to help you clarify it in your own reports, but note it will not appear in sales forms. When finished, click the Save button to save the new tax rate and close the pane. To cancel it instead, click the Cancel button. To edit an existing sales tax rate, Click the Edit link under the Action column for the Sales Tax Rate to Edit in the Custom Rates section of this page to open its details in a pane at the right side of the screen. Change it as needed, and then click the Continue button at the bottom of the pane to compare your tax rate changes in the pane. To finish changing the rate, click the Edit button. Alternatively, to make the custom tax rate inactive, which deletes the rate, click the drop down in the action column of the custom rate section of this page for the custom tax rate, and then select the make inactive command from the drop down menu. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.